Hello, Hello Floss, Floss Tube, Tube. We're, we're the, the real house size of cross stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this, this is, is Piper. Piper. <laughs> and we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. As you can see, I'm at Chelsea's house. She better not get me sick. <laughs> no. Um, I'm feeling much better. Cash is feeling better. So we are on the mend. We are just packing charts and getting some stuff done here. So we decided to film here. <laughs> Much to her dismay. <laughs> All right. The lighting isn't great for her. <laughs> okay. So, um... We appreciate all the comments about last week's new releases. Mm -hmm. Your shops, they are on their way to the shops. They will start getting them next week. And mm -hmm. then, if you have um, pre-orders and things like that, they can start shipping them out. Yep. But we appreciate you saying all the kind things you did about the mm -hmm. releases. Some of you uh, were on the fence about doing the home is where the wreath is to begin with, and this made you start. And mm -hmm. yes, I agree that these could be used um, as like smalls as well. So you don't need to use it as a wreath if you didn't want to. This could be a really cute chart for somebody to give to them for their birthday. Right. They could be like birth, right. A birthday, card. Yes. A card or I mm -hmm. mean the beach day just to mm -hmm. set out with your beach things. We haven't done a lot of beach mm -hmm. theme and a lot of you have really requested that. So yes. we hope that you enjoy those. All right. We had some questions last week. Diane said, Chelsea, have you tried a neti pot? No. The, the thought of it makes me, oh, oh yeah. but um, my sinuses, I do use saline every night, so I'm trying to clear my sinuses that way. Uh, Robin, Chelsea, did you say you bent your needles? I bought some Pat Carson needles and bent them like crazy. I haven't had that problem with others. Is it just those needles or have I changed the way I hold my needle? I am really hard on my needles. I bend almost every single one. Um, so it I have doesn't... never bent one of those. I'm... I'm really hard on my, I, um, I tend to over grip. Probably you have it in the. No, it was before I did that too. Okay. Um, it's, it's just, I <laughs> grip onto it for like dear life is what I do. I'm afraid of stabbing. There's like some points in my fingers mm -hmm. where I've stabbed over and over again. So when you say, oh my goodness, it's painful. So I'm scared of doing that. So I'm like holding on to it for dear life. Carolyn, do you ever get tired of stitching? What do you do to get motivated? No. And I just go look at our Facebook group and see how many people are enjoying the hobby. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it is. So on the cruise, I wasn't able to stitch much. And you could tell, like, my anxiety was just kind of like, it, I had nowhere to channel that energy. And if I'm sitting on the couch and I'm not stitching, watching a show or something, I'm like, what am I doing? I could be sitting here stitching. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. But my husband does read the subtitles and things to me, so I'm able to do that. I think it's become a habit, and mm -hmm. it's, like, hard to not do it. Yes. Uh, we did get snow. I don't know. When did we talk to them last? We have gotten a ton of snow. We were mm -hmm. complaining that there was no snow. Sat no snow. Saturday night into Sunday, we got, like, 10 inches of snow. 10 inches of snow. And right now, it's, like, minus 4. It's minus 6, but it feels like negative 25. But it's supposed to weird. warm up, so we're yeah. going to be good. Yeah. Lots of ice right now, though. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Iris, when do you choose the winners? I was wondering because I don't watch until Sunday. Is that too late? No, I don't pick winners until um, the following Friday. Week. Yeah, the week. Right. Marlene, I love the big barn picture behind you. Is it a cross stitch? No, those were prints that I got from my mother-in-law that, that she bought the frames to and my husband just hung up. Uh, Eileen, Priscilla, I watched one of your older home tours and you had a basket of dried hydrangeas from your garden. What is your preferred method uh, of drying them? So all you have to do is cut them when they're like uh, feel a little bit papery, put them in like a mason jar with about two inches of water and just let the water evaporate and they're good. We also used them for my wedding and we didn't put them in any water. Mom clipped them uh, that day and we put them in my wire baskets and those are still really, really good. Mm-hmm. So those mm -hmm. are the conical ones. Um, but they were also outside. So I don't know if there's a difference between it being yeah. chillier and yeah. yeah, those limelights. They dried so pretty like yes. with the green. And I put them with my greenery on my porch with the Christmas decorations. Me too. Um, Deborah, can we get an update on stitching seasons? Is it getting closer? Yes. Yes. Well, it was supposed to ship, I think, on the 3rd. But they've been closed for a couple of days because an ice storm. Ice storm. So, so it's, it's stitch shipping next week on the 6th? 6th or 7th, yep. So you it will be coming soon. We mm -hmm. appreciate your patience, and we are mm -hmm. so excited for you to see it and start stitching it. Mm -hmm. um, very excited. I have started the 
second one in the series. So, mm -hmm. just very excited. All right, Connie, Chelsea, may I ask what your shelving unit is behind you? I'm desperate. Nobody's seen my sewing room, so they want to know. Um, this is like 12 or 15 years old. It's from Ikea. It's one, two, three, four by four. Um, but Ikea, they have the same thing or similar yeah. now. Maybe it's like a Billy bookcase or something. Yeah, and they, they're 12 by 12, I think, mm -hmm. spots. So they're great for books or a lot Everybody of people Everybody used put to use them for scrapbooking. Yep, 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 yep. But I had it in my apartment, and I moved it to every house since. It went no, to mom's went for to a mine. little, and then it went <laughs> here. Um, you didn't have room at your little house. Yep, that's right. Debbie, what was the name of the three snowmen in the car? Snowman Trio. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, another recommendation for me being sick, because a lot of you were sick, is emergency. I've taken that before, but nothing was helping. I needed antibiotics. I could have fought the doctor about it. <laughs> <laughs> just give me something like lime green stuff is coming out of me there's an infection somewhere can i have an antibiotic please well i'll give it to you but you can't use it till tomorrow i called the pharmacy and i was like i'd like to use it today oh uh, okay all right edith can we order our heart cookies now or next week <laughs> she's only doing a few she said just enough for the grandsons all right done <laughs> thank you for asking your questions mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, this week in the Etsy shop, we had our spring roundabouts have started. So this is Hello Spring. It's finished on uh, polka dots. She can reach the camera. Understand? Polka dots and Paisley's cute <laughs> little pedestal. This would be super. So if you are nervous about trying her stuff, this would be a super easy one to start with because it is one color, um, mm -hmm. but it looks lacy and beautiful. I love it. So I just, I, um, cut a circle to fit the background and then I use that daisy trim around the outside and put a bow and a cover button. Aqua, you can barely see it, but the aqua in uh, white, mm -hmm. Chelsea's checks is back there too. Mm -hmm. And then she used that for the covered button. Mm -hmm. But really cute and we'll have more info on this later, next week. And then we started with our Spring City, so City Spring 1, mm -hmm. it's got the bird houses and the cute little flowers. The mustard truck is headed to market. Very cute. Mm -hmm. So I use the same daisy trim and then this is our new ribbon. I'm not sure, I think it comes next month. So hopefully it'll be here in time for you guys to use. Very cute. And that was it for Etsy this week. Yes, and then we don't have any previous finishes to show because we're here, right? Yeah. All right. Well, you can flash so, your whip. Are you flashing it or no? No. This is my whip. Oh. It's the May month to month, and it is done. But I can't show you because, like I said, we use new colors from Classic Color Works. And can I show this? She hasn't shown them yet. What are you going to show? This. Sure. Is this okay? Sure. Okay. Um, these are my colors for my whip. I also put them in my new, and somebody said, oh, I went and purchased this. This is so adorable. It is adorable. <laughs> so you've got the Jack Russells, so Daisy and Ronnie on the front. You've got Piper and Layla, <laughs> the gremlins, and then you've got um, Presley. Presley Doodle right there. And our Liberty fabric. Liberty isn't shown, but Liberty is kind of a uh, Jack Russell. And our fabric oh, is the mustard. Yeah. God help us. And the cute pink zippers. Love it. Yep. Cute, cute, yep. cute. I had to use mine, so there it is. The sun is about ready to kill me. <laughs> In your eye? Mm hmm Oh, you can see it? Where is it? Okay. Um, and then... <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I asked her, to, I said, shouldn't we pin up like a sheet? No, it's good. I'm like, well, okay. Well, it's not like reflecting here. Um, okay, and then I had a gift. and this It's just it blinded <laughs> me, but it's not reflecting. I had a gift. This is from Esther. She... Um, she was touched by uh, my dog passing away. So this is Daisy, and she's a watercolor artist, and she painted Daisy May for me. We all cried when we opened this. Uh, she has a business, and you can reach her at stardust4078 at yahoo.com, and she does pet portraits in watercolor. So this is absolutely amazing. We're getting a frame for it, so it can be framed and put in either our family room or my office. There, I don't know if the wall was big enough in my family room. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay. Then, what did we have? What did we do this week? Oh, you want to talk about that? What? 
the bloody spot on your nose from yep. your cat. <laughs> your surprise you got on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Alaska kid came home, <laughs> didn't tell me, and rang the doorbell, covered up the camera so I couldn't see who it was. And, and I she thought, answered it. I thought it was just snow. And I saw his fiance standing there, and then there he was. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, so she had a lasagna night for him. Um, really good lasagna night. We played Yahtzee. Mm-hmm. I lost both games. <laughs> so many of us got, not me, or oh, you did too. They all got Yahtzee. I've never played a game where I got Yahtzee. Double Yahtzees they were Double getting. Yahtzees, yes. And they weren't three cheating. Three of them got double Yahtzees. They weren't cheating. <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> um, Cash was trying to cheat for his mother. <laughs> he was. He'd like halfway, he'd put the cup on the thing and try to just roll out the dice that I needed. We got a kid's Yahtzee. Uh, for Christmas for him, and he is really good at it and really strategic. It's super cute. I recommend that. Um, it is very kid friendly. Like you don't have to add or math or anything like that. You you do characters instead. Okay. Uh, that what sounds else? Sounds like it would be good for us. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We were all on our calculators. It's like it's okay. Just mm -hmm. do do. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what else? So we are gearing up for market, which. It was the beginning of next month, and things are just wild and crazy, you know? So, <laughs> We don't know what we're doing yet. <laughs> uh, this week, the printer, the printer's printer broke, so charts were being hustled. Um, Matthew stayed up all night last night stuffing them for me while I slept. <laughs> like a queen. <laughs> Okay, uh, we did have giveaways last week. Well, we got this. We got the Fine Floss. Fine Floss from Fat Quarter Shop. It's a club that you can join up for, and it is the MPI Needlepoint Silks. So this is just a stash in, uh, enhancer. And they've now started the Weeks Dye Works and the um, Classics that are alphabetical, which are really pretty. Let me see if I have yours right here. No. Just the array of colors. It looks really cool together. Gosh, why do we have more than one of these? Oh, this one came out of there. Okay. Okay, so this was the Floss Frenzy. And look at it. So Absinthe, Adobe, Amber, Americana, Amethyst, and Angel Hair. So they've started going alphabetical now. So it's a great, great enhancer. I'm not sure if they have openings in the Floss Clubs. All right, and that one is... Yeah, we showed it last week, but then we forgot to give it away. I forgot Floss to give fix, it away. So we'll give it away this yeah. week. And I don't know what this is. Floss friends needs what I just showed. Okay, we can give it away. Okay, and then we'll give away one of the um, fine floss. This is the January Club, and it's 611 through 615. Very, very pretty. It's called Glacier Blue. Very pretty. All right, so these are... Give... Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're remembering how to do this back together thing. <laughs> All right. What else? Not in a normal Give spot. Us. <laughs> Give yeah, sure. All right. So last week we had the roundabouts, our love story. Did you see the hanger that that person did? That was like three. Yeah, I bought it. At, oh. Hobby at, Lobby? Yeah, I bought it. Super cute. I forgot to bring it. Okay. Our love story. Very cute. Sherry Oravet, Richard Allen, and Jennifer Clary. And you get the um, bonus chart with this one. Our email address is listed below. Make sure you email us at the email address. Not private Facebook message me. Not um, Instagram me. In our email address. Because I, I don't check my Facebook yeah. personally. Follow directions. <laughs> um, City Valentine's 4. So that one was over here. Plenty of time to do this still before Valentine's Day. That goes to Dorothy Buck, Letha Caltagrone, and Mary Miller. Paisley's Hearts. Right here. I got one. Yeah, but that's for today. In case. It's this. Yeah. Without the pattern on it, it's this. 
Yeah, you have to paint it. It's the heart garland. And that goes to Emily Daniels and Karen Jones. Make sure you put in a physical address so that I can mail that out to you. Then from Fat Quarter Shop, I'm using one as the pedestal to put our phone on. So sampler box. <laughs> oh, right here. She's going to fall off the chair. <laughs> You'd love that. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> so sampler box. This, goes, this is from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you, Kimberly and team. There are still openings for these. If you haven't joined this and you are a quilter, I would definitely look into it. It is amazing, the goodies that you get in here. Jody Murphy and Therese Westover. Then the pillow with the covers. This is from Melanie. And you get the pillow with all the different uh, seasonal covers. And that goes to Ina Pupo. Thank you, Melanie. Then the bountiful bags from Fat Quarter Shop and Team. Right there. So you get this beautiful bag. You get the fabric to stitch the piece on. You get the floss, floss box. That, don't open that. Because we got to give it to somebody. We have an extra one. So we can see what they're getting. And the floss box. So the bag, box, and the fabric. That goes to Cindy Gunning, Tracy Olayla, Joanne Robson, and Shelly Johnson. Then we have the, is it called Stronger? Mm -hmm. Stronger Together. Stronger Together. And that one, remember she said, comes with the pattern. So we have this beautiful chart. You get the floss and you get the uh, Navy Ada. And that goes to Mary Wilson and Debbie Cornelius. And then we had Roses Are Red. Is that home? It's a back up the truck series in the baskets. Oh, Beautiful. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Robin Rex Road, Donnelly Webb, and Cross Stitcher 223. It's back in the mudroom. Uh, then we had Luck of the Irish. <laughs> that was done on the books. So these cute books. She got these at Hobby Lobby. Last year. Last year. Uh, 206 GMP, Jennifer Montgomery and Barbara Shires. And then we had Leprechaun Lane. A little flocking. I took down my last two trees. Well, not the Valentine tree, but my last two winter trees this week. Leprechaun Lane. And that goes to Kelly Tadlock, Maria McPhail, and Tori Sprouls. And then the Snowman Trio. That's at home, sorry. The, on the Woody with the three snowmen. That goes to Tori M., Julianne Carman, and Jeff Colvin. And then from a viewer, we had Let's Find Rudolph. That goes to Sandy Balseric. And Feelin' Witchy goes to Cubone Kincraft. Is that it or was yes, it more? Yes, that's it. Okay. Yes, that's it. And then this week, we have some giveaways for you as well. So make sure that you send me an email to therealhousewivesofcrossstitch at gmail.com. Tell me what you won. Um, because if I am out and about sitting in carpool line, I can go through them and I can send it to you right there. All right. Thank you for participating. Thank you for your answers and your kind words, your well wishes. We appreciate it all. All right. This week, number one is three opportunities to win Hello Spring. The new spring roundabout. Super cute. <clears throat> Number two, three opportunities to win City Spring One. Number three is going to be. Okay, so we have one more of these heart garlands. From pa Posa <laughs> Paisley. <laughs> Paisley's and polka dots. Number so three is the heart. It. Yes. And stitch it. Number four is going to be two opportunities to win these pedestals. So these show the Valentine colors. Oh, sorry. But you don't have to stitch them or paint them in the Valentine colors. You could just paint them white. Yeah, so these are different. This one has it's the taller. hearts. Yes. And it has the hearts in the cutout instead of the circles. It's a little bit taller um, base. Mm -hmm. So there's two of these. Number four. Number five from Fat Quarter Shop and Team is the Floss Fix. Number six 
We got our fabric of the month. So we have two of the chalkboard black Ada. Ooh! Number six is two chalkboard black Ada. This is what we tell you all the time. If you can't stitch on black, try stitching on this. Two chalkboard black linens. Number seven. Count. Number seven, two opportunities to win the linen. Chalkboard black. Super cute. It's what Kimberly stitches all of her stuff on. Number eight. When I went to the punch needle retreat where we went to the mansion, this was in my goodie bag. So I thought someone would like to stitch this. And we finished the punch, the new spring punch needle. And I, I was dusting because of all the flocking and I dropped the thing on my foot. And I am telling you. <laughs> this is number eight. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> Number nine is the Fine Floss from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you, Kimberly and team. And number 10 is the Floss Frenzy. I showed it to you. I showed it to you with the wild green in it. Number 10. And then number 11. Oh, is Home is Where the Wreath is, or I'm sorry, Reswap 3. Three opportunities to win this as a physical chart. Yes. Farmhouse so, is now in our Etsy shop as well as Tulip Trail. So you get all the the six charts to do the celebrations. So 11 is the paper copy of this. Three opportunities to win that. Do you have the box with the other two? Yep. Number 12 is three opportunities to win the April month to month. month. And number 13 oh God. Oh. <laughs> I was running was around running around with this in her mouth I was running around like a nut trying to get everything ready to go yeah I left her at home today she wasn't happy Number 13, three opportunities. Oh, the bike just took a dive. <laughs> like me at Mackinac Island. Um, number 13. Let's go ride a bike, bunny hop. Three yes. opportunities to win yes. the physical copy of that. Yes. And thank you so much for all your nice comments last week about our new releases. We we love all of them, so we're glad that you do too. My favorite is the reswap. And we can't wait for you to see what's coming for market. So yes. it's very exciting. I can't wait to see what's coming for Martha. <laughs> Just kidding. She's not. <laughs> no, 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 she, I'm stitching one. All right, um, number 13. So, to enter for the giveaways, don't say giveaway, because some perv will probably come in and say, oh, how are you? I like you. Yeah, come I thought you were me. supposed to say that word. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm getting real sick of him. He's the same person, like Luca. I block him, and then he creates some other ones. So... I've reported him, I block him, I report him, I block him. If I don't see him on your, I mean, I go through all the comments and delete as many as I can, but if I don't see it, I'm sorry, don't talk to him. <laughs> um, he's, he's not a real person. Oh gosh, I was talking to him. I bet you were. He's not a real person. <laughs> um, God, that's, all, that's all I need. Uh, okay, so you enter in, you like the video, you be a subscriber, and you list out um, Meet your where- Meet <laughs> <laughs> just kidding <laughs> no not gonna happen God help us all <laughs> she's had a lot to drink this morning um, uh, I, I've been watching the um, murder trial on YouTube it's really interesting if you haven't seen the documentary on HBO I think they did a really good job of covering it um, if not you can there's podcasts about what happened through it all that right is, but there's so much more, I think, than down low you... country or low down. I don't remember what it was called. This week, I watched <laughs> one that was super just ugh, and it was a real thing. Uh, don't pick up the phone or something like that. Don't watch it. But golly, what just, is that about? That's about in the late 90s and early 2000s. A guy would get on a payphone and call fast food restaurants. And he'd get the, the managers to like strip search an employee. Oh, I. 
<laughs> you heard about that? He would pretend that he was a cop. But then you watch the documentary and it talks about the scientific experiment where there was like a fake person and a real person doing the experiment and they had to shock a person when they would ask him a question and they knew that the shocks were getting more intense and the fake person on the other side would be like screaming in so much pain, but the person would just keep doing it because the experiment guy told him to do it. So it's completely possible to like manipulate people's minds like that because they think that they're a thorn. It was just, it blew my mind. It blew my mind. I watched it twice. Okay, so don't answer the phone and don't talk to anybody <laughs> that comments on your YouTube comments. Right, don't. <laughs> just don't. And we don't, we don't comment. I mean, rarely. I will comment. No, I, but rarely. I don't say Priscilla and Chelsea. Like I comment if something. Yes, yes. but they, they they make up fake names. Like they could be like Priscilla and like Chelsea some Luca three person. or something. Yeah, they're not. They're, <laughs> they're con we have enough personalities for Priscilla. Oh, one, two, three, and so four. so we're at the beginning of the month. So this is should we do tidbit today or should we do? Ooh. First, can I finish? Um, you have to answer the question. And the question is, where do you spend your stitchy money? We do this every month after we release so people know where to spend their stitchy money. Mm -hmm. Online, brick and mortar. If it's brick and mortar, say what city and state. So if people are on a road trip because it's coming summer. Soon. They can shop there too. Okay, go ahead. It's beginning of the month. So. Yeah. So should we do Tidbit Tada or should we do Housewives for Us? Housewives for Us. Okay. So... Well, we need to see you in your merch or with your Yeti or your project bags with our Stitching with Housewives logo and a piece of your stitch. Like, let's see your favorite Stitching with the Housewives piece and you in the picture. And it has to have your face. <laughs> okay, bossy. All right, that is on our Facebook group, so you can enter there. Yes, and Stitching with the Housewives and then hashtag it to, no, You're Housewives, house. hurrah. Don't be looking at me like H -O -O -R -A -H. that. Yeah, she was being real nice when everybody was over, but then... She wasn't being real nice. She, just, <laughs> she had to sit on the table, you know, with her crooked leg, playing Yahtzee, and the <laughs> dice would hit her. And just, oh, that was a lot. That lasagna was so good. So, so good. All right. Nope. Yeah, I told you to take some home. I know. I didn't. We're trying to eat more healthy. Every lunch, we're trying to have a salad. That's what we're trying to do. And if there was a plate, we're not, we're not having salad today. <laughs> no, I did pasta and fajol last night. No, we're not having that either. <laughs> oh, it was very good. All right, we appreciate you spending your time with us. Answer the question. Don't say giveaway. Don't talk to anybody on YouTube. <laughs> don't answer the phone. <laughs> yeah, don't pick up the phone. Oh my! Seventy something times it happened. Seventy, and he got off. It, oh, okay, don't watch it, but it just may, it, maybe read about it. You can Google the case. All right, we appreciate you spending <laughs> your time with us. And where are you listening to the Murdoch trials? Um, there, there's YouTube, yeah, there's different, like, YouTube. there's a woman that's a lawyer, plus, there's this really cute guy lawyer. That's <laughs> <laughs> my new stepdad. There you go, yeah, <laughs> he's young. <laughs> But he goes over it all at night, and he, he's really cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. <laughs> no, but he's very knowledgeable. It's interesting that these people that are lawyers have these YouTube channels now. But the woman's a lawyer, too. I can't think of her name. She has purple hair. Oh. But they just cover it all? Or you're watching the actual trial? She's, she has the trial going, plus she comments. And oh, she okay. tells people, you know, like, why they're doing this or why they're doing that. They did a lot yesterday where they couldn't have the jury in there, so. Oh. But she could be in there? Oh, it's being filmed, so obviously. She's it, not in there. I mean. <laughs> She's at home. I mean, the cameras yes. were so going in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know anything about it. Very that. interesting. And his best friend had to testify, and he was crying, and it's sad. It's sad. He was a mess. But he said he was addicted to opioids. Did you know that? Mm hmm You'd have to be to do what he did. All right. We mm. appreciate you spending your time with us. That's our crime talk for the <laughs> week. <laughs> We hope. <laughs> we are going to go finish packing some orders, and we will see you guys next week. Housewives yes. Hurrah in our Facebook group. Yes. Make sure you use the hashtag so I can find the winners through there. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. We will see you next week.